Okay, so it's Friday. It's kind of funny, I just realized. Like, usually when I'm by myself, I say, hey guys, and then I start the video, where if somebody's around me, I say, okay, so. <laughs> it's very abrupt. Greg's over there. But anyway, um, I kind of wanted to vlog this weekend and do like a what I eat in a day type of like vlog. But I got another package from Blooming Rose Candle Co. Caitlin's Candles. And I'm going to open it and I'm going to sniff some tarts. I ordered some like um, little tart things. I ordered basically the whole winter collection. So um, I already crossed out our address. So what did you say? I don't dox ourselves. Oh, you just ripped the tape. Like you're gonna see me then. You're gonna spoil I me. don't know. I'm just stupid. Okay. I probably should have done this sitting on the floor because it's gonna be like peanuts everywhere. I don't know. No, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> okay. I finally got all the peanuts out of the way. I was gonna start over and have it be more elegant, but that's just not me. But look at this. Do you see how cute? Nice. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. There's so many scents. Okay, cozy flannel. Wait, I asked her about one of them. This wasn't it. This was the one I think. This is the one that I got a little sample of last time, I think. Oh, this smells different. I thought cozy, I have to ask her. I should like look up like the notes and stuff for each one. Okay, let's be professional here. Cozy flannel. Okay. Cozy flannel. Now, this one I think is more masculine. It has like a. I don't know. It has a scent that I cannot identify. It's almost like a tree. I want to say like a, like a fir. Like a Douglas fir kind of scent. Here, I'm going to toss it to you. You tell me. Right. It smells like. It smells like. Like masculine in the way of like maybe cologne and like I want to say like um like a smoky but woodsy smell. Tell me what you think. It hit my eye. This is a terrible Well, I didn't want to hit you. You throw it over here. It smells manly. Yeah, but like do you smell like a tree. I smell like a tree woodsy. This this is cozy flannel. Yeah. I thought the other one she gave me was cozy flannel, but maybe not. Mm. Yeah, I, can, I can see like body wash of mine smelling like this. I guess it makes me think when I smell it. Body wash? So I mean, cozy flannel might not be too far off. But I'm kind of conjuring up in my mind as I smell it. Hmm. Okay, so cozy flannel is a warm blend of bergamot. Bergamot? Honey. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Huh? Let me start over. Okay, cozy flannel is a warm blend of bergamot, honey, oh my god, mahogany. Why do I keep saying honey? I literally just said honey. Mahogany. Cozy flannel is a warm blend of bergamot, mahogany, and a delicate veil of musk. The perfect fall unisex scent. So that's probably what I'm thinking, mahogany. And musk. And bergamot. It's everything. Okay. Musk. Now we're going to smell... Winter mint. This is so much. I should have done this last time. I should have went on Etsy and looked up the description. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay. Ooh. Winter mint. Okay, here's the thing. Actually, I think there's a peppermint kiss. Yeah, peppermint kiss. Oh, okay. Interesting. Because winter mint and peppermint kiss, you would think that they would be pretty much alike. Which they both have a minty smell. But this definitely smells sweeter and it smells like a candy cane almost, where this is more minty. Okay, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna toss them to you. You tell me what you think. Hold on, let me show you. I showed you winter mint peppermint kiss. I hope can you see the back of this? This is really cool. I like the blend of colors. I'll just toss them here. <laughs> see, that? that's what I'm talking about right there. That's, that's where you want it? Yes. See, that's perfect. It gets right here. Okay. So sniff them both and, and tell me if you... Because I could definitely tell a difference between the mint and peppermint. Mm. 
I'll wait while you're sniffing. I'll read it's like it. Like a creamy. Yeah, creamy. Okay, hold on. Let me I see. I don't know if I'd say like a. I used to think of like a. No, what is it? I don't know. If it's, maybe Junior Mint. Junior Mint. You know, like the creamy. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so for winter mint, it says it's a light mixture of cool iced mint, sharp black currant, smooth white musk, and the sweetness of frosted strawberry and whipped vanilla. So it has that, like Greg was saying, kind of like a junior mint where it's like the minty but also like vanilla. Okay, so now peppermint kiss. It's definitely different. Definitely different. Candy, more like a candy candy. Yeah, like you, it's like peppermint. Yeah. I mean, it is peppermint, but that is like, you, you can smell the peppermint compared to just the mint. Mm -hmm. There is like a distinct pretty, yeah, difference. Pretty yeah. Self-explanatory. I like the one in But even though it's self-explanatory, she has um, sweet peppermint sticks with a creamy, rich vanilla foundation. Creamy vanilla foundation. Okay. I'll let you pick the next one. We see. on the inside too. Yeah, she has warnings yeah, everywhere. You like, gotta you know, follow them. Careless and walk away. First of all, I'm not careless. Mm. Oh! What? Wait a minute. She put in a fruity cereal. I love the, the fruity cereal. I was telling her how and much like I love this one. Too. Yeah. This is the one I've been burning it, like you know. Yeah. It's in the sunroom, mm -hmm. like pretty much nonstop. I told her I, I like that one so much. She must have threw that in as a little bonus. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me just let me just move this out of the way. I'll just set it over there, not really that far. Okay, should I let you pick which one you want to sniff next? We have frosted pine, gingerbread house, vanilla tobacco, autumn days, toasted pine. Oh, that'd be another interesting one. Okay, I know I said you'd pick, but you can pick the next one. Mm. Toasted pine and frosted pine cone. I'm picking the ones that are similar, and I'm going to tell you what the difference is. That's what I'm going to go with. So, frosted pine. I lost my little... I lost my website. Frosted pine. Ooh, toasted pine. This smells like a Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. Like, when you bring a Christmas tree into the house... And then you walk in the room, like you leave the house and you come in again. Oh my gosh, it smells just like a Christmas tree. Just like a Christmas tree. Okay, so that is toasted pine. Toasted pine. So then frosted pine cone. I'm so intrigued. This is so exciting. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me calm down a second. So toasted pine. Among the fresh, clean... Wait, no, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Hold on. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back. Frosted pine cone. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to read it for... I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to sniff it. Okay. It has a... I smell like a hint of pine. Not as... Definitely not as much as it is in this one. I want to say like pine a lighter pine but with some cinnamon and like something else that i can't place but this one is straight up christmas tree straight up okay so here you go toasted pine frosted pine cone we'll start with the right there on this side of the blanket no this side of the blanket right there oh that's not close to me it's a Christmas tree, right? Mm -hmm. So, frosted pine cone is a clean, crisp pine highlights this holiday scent along with a background of sandalwood, vanilla, and slight hints of raspberry. Sandalwood. <laughs> you don't know what he's <laughs> talking Maybe the about. Raspberry. Maybe the hint of raspberry. You don't know what you're talking about. Am I too far I away? I'm going to but it doesn't really make sense, so I didn't say it. Potpourri. So, next one. Toasted pine. This is toasted pine now. Does that smell different? It's very different. Tell me what you smell. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it makes me, I guess kind of makes me feel like I'm like outside. Yeah. And I'm going through the woods or something. Yeah. And the other one makes me think of like the inside with the tree, but this is more like an outside with the tree. Ooh, I like that. Okay, if you can't hear him, 
He said, um, I'm, I'm projecting. Go ahead. No. Okay, he said frosted pine cone makes you smell like it makes him think of being inside with a tree where the toasted pine is like outside in the woods. That's really good. Okay, so toasted pine, the description is among the fresh, clean scent of fir needle and pine sap, a baker's oven calls with warm spices, crisp baked cookies, powdered sugar, and rich buttercream. So that's what I was saying. I kind of get like a spice, like cinnamon. Mm. I would, maybe not cinnamon, but that's kind of like what I was smelling something along with like a outdoorsy smell. That smells really good. I'm really excited to burn these. But I have fall stuff still going. Like I've been burning the crap out of leaves and the marshmallow one. Um, the marshmallow pumpkin pie. Um, but now I want to do these. And, you, and Greg actually just found one of my wax uh, melter things. Because I have one in the I sunroom. Did. And then I, I had one. All over for it. Well, I had one in a box somewhere <laughs> and he found it. Um, no, it was loose. In oh the no, closet. my battery's dying. Or stop it or something before it dies. Oh, we got deer now. No, too. I have one over there. No, we got deer, skunk, raccoon, all at the same time. <sighs> really? The, the holy trinity. Okay. I have to, I have to um, swap my batteries, but you can pick, Greg. Gingerbread, autumn days, or vanilla tobacco. Gingerbread. Gingerbread, okay. Hold on. Oh! I'm so excited about that fruity cereal. I, I know what it smells like, but it's amazing. Okay, I have like two bars on this one, so I should be okay if, I'm, if I don't yap too much, but you know me. Okay, he said gingerbread. Let's sniff gingerbread. Oh my gosh, his battery's blinking too much. What the heck, it was plugged in. Okay, we're back in business. Full battery, gingerbread, here we go. Hmm. Okay, so I'm smelling a lot of spice. I want to say like a homemade gingerbread. Not like a generic gingerbread. Like you're in the process of making gingerbread cookies. Because I smell like gingerbread, but I also get like a cookie smell. Well, it's gingerbread house, so I guess it would be a cookie smell. But yeah, gingerbread mixed with like a sugar cookie. Which, you know. Is perfect for a gingerbread house. I gotta review some of these. I keep forgetting to review them. I really like this one. It's probably my favorite. It's his favorite. See, I'm smelling. I'm smelling a lot of cinnamon. Like to me, it's like cinnamon roll. I got that, that's what, that's like my where my mind goes like first before anything else. Okay. It's like more so than ginger. Hmm. Yeah, it's like yeah, you know, very strong like cinnamon roll. Like if you didn't tell me it's a gingerbread house, I'd say this is cinnamon roll. Huh. Like I couldn't even smell like the cream cheese icing. Like that, like that. I mean, I'm, but I mean, gingerbread have icing on you know, them too. Smell the cream cheese icing in the. I, I don't. Well, okay. If she could sell this with cinnamon roll, I would, you know. Yeah, that. I don't know. That's like don't I, smell I, that's the not, ginger. That's not, that's, that's not a complaint. Like I just. It's, you don't smell ginger though. I don't know. Just. Yeah, he loves head. this Everything one. My head is just sniffing it. Roll. Okay, well, Greg said he thinks this smells like a cinnamon roll, but okay, which is good. It's just not. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> a little hint. Okay, well, on here she has frosted ginger and spice blend with clove and vanilla for a rich treat. So maybe you're vanilla, smelling. Maybe in the yeah. Spice blend. I don't know. But I got the clove. I would say like ginger clove. And like I said, like a sugar cookie kind of thing, I think. I mean, Greg just smells a cinnamon roll, so. It's a, yeah, it's cinnamon roll. That's all I smell when I smell it. So go to her website and buy it. <laughs> and then come back and let me know what you smell. Yeah. That's that. It's that's my request. It it's the only way for anybody to figure it out. Okay, autumn days or vanilla tobacco? Tobacco. Wait, okay, I was hoping for that one. Vanilla tobacco. <laughs> Ooh, I smell the tobacco. Ooh. <laughs> I guess you would know. Right, know that smell better than me. First of all, he means because my mom smoked and my uncle smokes, not because I smoke. Yeah. But I'm around a lot of secondhand smoke. My mom always had, like, the issue of, like, roller so I mean... Mm -hmm. It has a strong tobacco smell. I feel like maybe a little, like, leathery kind of smell, but also a hint of sweetness, which would be the vanilla. 
feel like it's very unique. It's like a very unique smell. I don't think I've ever smelled a candle or anything like this before. Mmm. I feel like this is going to make the house smell really good, though. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. Those, you had a couple throws that were, like, perfect. Okay, this just says a warm blend of spices, vanilla, and tobacco. I'm not really spoiling anything there, but... But it smells like a good tobacco. <laughs> like, it's not like a stinky tobacco smell. I mean, I guess... Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty accurate, but, you know... I want to say, I mean, tobacco, I want to say this reminds me more of, like, a cigar kind of vibe. See, I, I like how some stuff, like, are, like, black and mild. Or cigars, I guess, in some cases, they smell really good. Yeah, because cigars, like, cig like, cigarettes don't smell good, but cigars, like... They usually smell good. You gotta smell the gingerbread again. Yeah. <laughs> All these other ones have been pretty much spot on for me. I did cinnamon roll. I don't know what that was to tell you. Every time I smell it, it's, it's cinnamon roll. I'll tell her that. I'll ask her about that. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's just, you know. I don't smell cinnamon roll. I smell gingerbread, well, you, but that's You should smell thing. it again thinking cinnamon roll. Okay, here, toss it maybe. Maybe a little, but I smell like the like the cloves. Like now that I read the cloves, like I smell that spice that's not in a cinnamon roll. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. But maybe if she tweaked certain things, then it would be cinnamon roll. Maybe. Like if she put more, um... I don't know, I'm trying to like anti... I'm trying to like take apart the tart. And then, like, put it together for another scent. It smells so good, though. Last one is Autumn Days. Okay, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to sniff it. Ooh. Huh. I feel like I need to get my leaves candle. I smell like something along the lines of this, but not the same. I smell like a, kind of like the, like a burny, like I, like I was talking about in the last one, like a burnt, like when you smell leaves and like a campfire type of smell, but also like fruity, but like a deep fruity smell. Not strong. Yeah, so again, I'm gonna say outdoorsy. A little bit of burnt something, and a little bit of some kind of fruit. But different than that kind of, but different than the, the leaves, because I know that had, I think, cranberry. And I'm not smelling that, I don't think. No. What do you say you smell? I smell like kind of burnt, kind of outdoorsy, and like, um, like fruity. Yeah. Like some kind of fruity. Yeah, the fruity. But it's different than the leaves fruity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a strong fruitiness. Yeah, I mean, I think how you describe it is pretty accurate. I don't really outdoors and fruity? That. Yeah, outdoorsy, fr the fruity, really. It was kind of unexpected, that part. Hmm. Okay, so it says, a blend of orange slices, peaches, and apples surrounded by crushed cloves and ground cinnamon with a warm background of tonka and sweet vanilla. Tonka trucks. Tonka trucks. Um, so, the orange slices and peaches. I wouldn't have guessed peaches, but orange slices, yes, and probably apple too. But then, like, the cloves, ground cinnamon, I think that's kind of like the, the more warm sense I was getting. I wish I could have like smell -a through all this stuff but um yeah this one's autumn days. I don't know if I showed the other ones up close so let me just do that real quick. Gingerbread house or cinnamon roll if I'm pouring a grind. Vanilla tobacco, cozy flannel, frosted pine cone, toasted pine, and peppermint kiss and also winter mint. I think I might have forgot about that one. No, I was coming over. I'm not getting on camera. I'm just figuring out where the other ones were. Peppermint? Toasted pine? Oh, the one pine I liked a lot. Not the one. This not, one. Yeah, this, the frosted pine cone. Yeah. Uh, I think Winterman's my favorite, though. I don't know which one my favorite is. I think mine might be frosted pine cone, my favorite. Because since you said it kind of reminds you of the outdoors, it really does. So I just want to show all these scents. Like I said last time, I'll leave her etsy store and like instagram tiktok stuff i'll leave it all below because i know she's trying to sell this stuff even if you don't want to invest in like a bigger candle these are like the perfect gift for christmas and stuff that's what mm -hmm. i want to do i want to get get a few of these for people for christmas i know um but yeah so that concludes the uh the scent, the sniff test. 
thank you, Greg, for being a participant yet again. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow I think I'm going to do a what I eat in a day kind of vlog. Um, and it might be interesting depending on if we do uh, some dough again. We were going to do that tonight, but then the dough from last week was bad. It was supposed to last five days, but it smelled like just... Yeah. Evan said tonight, he's, he's, he's like, if you're not going to have within a couple of days, he's like, yeah, freeze it. Oh, freeze he it. Tell me, he didn't tell me that the other day, but I also didn't really ask. So. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, that or might... Or just make enough for that day. I think that would probably mm -hmm. be, you know. So, yeah, tomorrow's dinner might be interesting. I mean, it's all going to be interesting, so stay tuned. But especially towards the end of the video, it might get a little uh, more interesting because I have something maybe in mind that I want to try out, so... We'll see.